You were just telling me why this is a terrible graph? Yeah, the formatting of this graph, it just bothers me. Like, the horizontal axis is supposed to be time. What the hell is this? 120, 720? Like, yeah, there's, it's like there's months, there's a month and a year. <gasps> Oh. So I'm like I'm like squinting like is this tw is it 2020 is it 2024 I don't know I've got to like decipher it would be nice if they had big chunky numbers mm -hmm. for when mm -hmm. each year began just give me 2020 also, 2021 2022 that would have been that would have done it yeah. what, what, what were we doing yeah unnecessary confusion and then the vertical axis no axis with floaty numbers where's like, the line give me the line where's the line where's the axis just give me an axis yeah and then then there's the two dash lines. The, the first dash line is a linear approximation to how the experts' predictions are moving. Okay. That's okay, I think. Not sure. great labels. So you're saying, you're saying they're like, it's this number, this number, this number, and then like just draw a straight line through it. Line. Okay. Why not continue that dash line up through the predictions to make it clear? This is the best Oh, uh, yeah. That would have done it. R value. Would have done it. Yeah. And then there's a second dash line, which is telling, saying if the current forecast, when this graph was made, would when it would come true. So they have this like weird curvy dash line coming down to like, what is that? Like I understand it if it's a linear line here, but then they're, oh, it's sometime here, but it's going to change. You're going to a little tanky right. tank. Like why? Right. What? That's not a best fit I, line. That's I, just the line they drew. It's the line that I drew and it's how I was feeling that day. Ridiculous. Ridiculous.